most privileged to be back in the house of praise and in prayer just one more time. Thank you for tuning in, listening in on this broadcast this morning. We are so thankful to God that He allowed us to see another day that was promised to us. He could have easily made this day without us just as easily as He did with us. So I think that is a deserving of a great round of applause for God. Listeners who have tuned in via 
faced with, Father. Father, they are experiencing various problems, Father, but Father, you have the answer. Yeah, yeah. So, Father, give them what they stand in need of, Father. If it's a financial burden, Father, please give it to them. If it's a relational problem, Father, give it to them. If it's health issues, Father, yeah, yeah. please deal with it, Father. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Father, as we prepare to worship, Father, on this morning, Father, Father, anything that stands in between us and you, Father, please remove it. Uh, Father, we, we want to come in and worship you in spirit and in truth, Father. So right now, Father, we ask you to remove it, Father, in your perfect son. We pray this in your daughter, son, Jesus' name, Father.
uh, got together and they decided that it would just be fitting if John Franklin uh, could play in the championship game right. on that night. Right. The only problem was John Franklin name wasn't on the roster. All right. All right. And, and that meant that the opposing team would have two free throws to shoot if they let John Franklin enter the game. All right. Both coaches agreed and both coaches decided to uh, allow John Franklin to come into the game and, and Darius McNeil of DeKalb High School stepped up to the free throw line to shoot the free throws. And the most unusual thing took place. D -D Darius McNeil, uh, who stepped up to shoot the two free throws, uh, who, did, who had an earnest uh, time to make the free throws, uh, he missed both of them uh, with great distance. All right. All right. All right. Great distance. And the coach, the referee rolled the ball back to McNeil, and he took it to the half court where they were to jump for the uh, ball and see who was to get the uh, starting game. If it, it was John Franklin uh, who was in the game on the second quarter, uh, who, who, who scored over 20 points, All right. and, and Madison High School, Milwaukee, uh, went on to win the game, and after the game, uh, the Milwaukee uh, Senators, Senator uh, uh, newspaper came to interview McNeil first. All right. The reporter asked McNeil, why, why did you deliberately miss those two free throws? He said, I did it because it was the right thing all to right, do. Right, right, right. It's, after all, John Franklin had just lost his his mother. And there are some things that are more important All right. than winning the basketball. Game. All right. But, but then they, 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 they interviewed John Franklin. And the reporter asked him, John, John why, why did you come uh, to play tonight? What, what, was it because uh, you are the leading scorer of the team? John Franklin said, no, that's, that's, that's not it. So the reporter asked him, was it because uh, you want to keep your record of playing in 120 games uh, without injury or without missing a game? Uh, did you come for that? He said, no, that's not, that's not it. All right. The reporter asked him, did you think the team couldn't win without you? He said, oh, no, that's, that's certainly not it. They have more, more players, more, more valuable than I am. And so the reporter said, John, John I want you to look into that town where thousands of people are watching you. And I want you to give uh, them the explanation as to why you would come out and play uh, in a basketball game on the day that your mother died of cancer. Uh, John Franklin looked into the camera and said, well, that's, that's relatively easy. He said, my mother instilled in me at a young age when I was playing peewee football. She, she told me that, son, regardless of the pain, regardless of the problem, she said, don't panic, don't panic, don't prolong the problem. She said, whatever it takes, when the chips are down, dig in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And trust God to see you through. All right. Now that's a word for somebody. Yes, sir. Who, who is on the peripheral of going through uh, some problems and pains and, and pitfalls of life. And, and, and John Franklin wants to tell you, my mother told me to dig in. All right. When, when it gets rough, when it gets tough, when the night uh, becomes unbearable, uh, we learn how to dig in yeah, yeah, yeah. and trust God. All right. When, when, when the chips are down, it, it's an idiomatic. It's, it's idiomatic of, of a term that that, that that means when it's there are tough decisions to make. Yeah. When, when when life is when life throws you a uh, punch, uh, when the chips are down, literally suggests. When you're going through the worst critical moment of your life, uh, the, the, the text says, the text tonight, today, uh, simply suggests to us that when we are facing trials and through the, when we've been knocked down, yeah, yeah. this text suggests to us that we need to dig in when the chips are down. I don't know who I'm talking to out there today. I don't know who, who, who listens to me. I, I, I don't know if, if, if what you're going through, how long you've been going through. But, but this text offers us an antidote. Antidote. Uh, for, for when you don't think you can make it, when you don't think you can go any further, when you don't feel that, that, that life has treated you bad, this text offers us a remedy of how 
how we can get up from our falls, how we can get up from our stumbles, our trials, our pitfalls, and how we can get up again. Yeah, yeah. And it's trust the Lord. Well, well, the text opens up. Uh, the text opens up uh, by saying now, Peter and Peter and John. Yeah. Peter, Peter and John, the most, a, a most unusual, unlikely couple uh, came up because uh, uh, Peter was Peter was one who was antsy. Uh, he, he, he was one uh, uh, who, who, who didn't have uh, what it took to be uh, 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 calm. And, 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 and John was just the opposite. He was always meek and, and, and calm and, and, and easy to talk to. But, but, but Peter was but, but Peter was one uh, who, who always rushed and put his foot in his mouth. But, but, but these two, uh, as you know, uh, every, every, every time Jesus had an important assignment, he would always take Peter, James, and, and, and John. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you do remember it was, it was Peter uh, who signaled to John uh, at, at, at the Passover, uh, which was like right before Jesus goes to Calvary. It, it was Peter uh, who was sitting there and he signals to John. To find out who he's talking to that's going to betray him. And John was laying on the bosom of Jesus, and, and, and Peter wasn't that close. Peter said, Why are you close to Jesus? Uh, uh, and asked him to find out for me who it is. And I don't know what, why Peter asked him, because you know, Peter, Peter was a sword character. And, 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 and it, it was Peter who warned his. Hands by the end of his fire. But, 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 but prior to that, in John chapter, John chapter 18, uh, it was it was Peter who followed Jesus uh, to the court that night. Yeah. And, and, and John, John followed him and, and, and the court, the, 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 the Pharisees and, 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 and the Sabbath, they, they knew John. And John was able to go in with Jesus. But the Bible said Peter was left outside the door. And it was John who goes to the soldier and, and asks permission for Peter to come inside where they were trying Jesus. All right. it, it was Peter and John. You, you, you do remember in, in John chapter 20, uh, verse 3 by verse 4 and 5, that the Bible said that Peter and John runs to the temple, runs to the, the grave to see Jesus. You know, I can very back when they gone there and, and say he's not there. It was Peter and John that took off running. Now, since John writes the gospel, he says, I'm the one that beat Peter to the grave. But, but, but John gets to the grave and he looks in and he sees the napkins there at the top and at the bottom. And, and but the, the Bible said John did not go in. But Peter arrived with him. And he went inside the tomb yeah. All right. and surveyed him. And, 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 and he determined that he guess somebody, somebody that got it, he's not here. Right. But it was Peter and Peter and John. In, in this day, now, now they're no longer going to the grave. All right. And that's because of the resurrection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but right after they had gone looking for Jesus uh, uh, at, at the grave, Prayer, the, the hidden command. 
property that, that, that we have, that the church has neglected and has put on the back burner. And those things, they, they, they believe in having prayer. Oh, it's right in the text. Just, just look with me. Just give me about six more minutes and I'll let you. They, they, they went up to the temple at the hour of prayer. It, it was at the three o'clock hour. They, the Jews had 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 worship in the morning, they worship at three, they worship at evening. But they, but these two men, they come to the house of prayer at the three o'clock hour. And Luke says when they when they got there that there was somebody waiting on the, the right prayer. Uh, they watch, watch what he says in, in verse one. He says. They went to the temple at the hour of prayer. Oh, prayer. Prosuke is the word here for, for prayer in the Greek that is prosuke. It, it, has, it has grown up now. It, it, it used to be the word prosukama, but, but now it has grown up now. And the word is now called prosuke. Uh, compound Greek word pro, pro, pros meaning before uh, and, and in front and, and, and UK have carried the idea uh, to, to get to see it so it, it, the word has grown up now uh, and, and, and one of the things one of the weapons that, that, that we as Christian believers uh, need, need to continue to use is prayer Over in Kenya, when we got there, we had American currency. All right. 
And in, in some places, you had to have kidney occurrences. Uh -huh. And so that, that was a money exchange uh -huh. uh, that, 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 that we were carried to by the guy. And they asked us, what, 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 do you, what do you want to exchange? And I, I, I told the lady I wanted a hundred dollars worth of, of kidney money. All right, all right. And she stood there and looked at me, stared at me. And I said, did you hear what I said? She said, yes, sir, I did hear what you said. She said, but I'm waiting on you. I said, what you waiting on? She said, I'm waiting on you to give me the hundred dollar money. Yeah. So she, she was waiting on the exchange. Yeah. To take place. She, she wasn't going to move on the Kenya currency until I released the American currency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's a word for somebody today. Right, right. Rush you case, you going to God with an honest, an honest exchange. Uh, yeah. you, 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 you got problems, but you need to exchange them with God so you give you peace. All right. Yes, sir. You, you, you got misery in your life, but you need to make an exchange so God can give you his mercy. Yeah, yeah. You got junk in your life. God wanna give you junk, so let the exchange. Yeah, yeah. When you make the exchange, it makes all the difference. All right. Yeah. So they they go up to the hour of, of prayer. They, they they encounter a the, the Bible says a certain man yeah. lame from his mother's womb. All right. Now I say all the time you can build and build land and never leave. Finding scripture where uh, the person in the text is not named. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that, that's, that's a good opportunity yeah. uh, for you to find yourself in the text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good opportunity to write your name above that certain name of a man or a woman or a child. That, that, that's, a, that's an opportunity for you to plug in your your name. A certain man. The Bible says. Watch this now. The Bible says. Uh, he was lame from his mother's womb. All right. And and watch this. They said they laid him daily at the beautiful gate. Now, now right off the bat, it's popping up. I just got to that. This is another free one. <laughs> not only was this man lame, and not only was he lame, but at least he was living. All right. All right. And when you're lame, and when you gotta be laid, at least you're living, you can always expect to be liberated. All right. Preach! Right. It's right here in the text. I'm not making it up. Yeah. Derek is right here in the text. <laughs> but in spite of the lameness, in spite of him being laid, he, he was at least living, and because of his living, there was a possibility of liberation. All right. All right. All right. It is right here in the text. And, and Peter and John, uh, the Bible says, uh, but when I. Uh, and, that, and that's why you are all in it. And, and when you got problems, you all find your way to the temple. To the temple. All right. When, when you've been lame and, and, and when you've been uh, uh, hurting like a, a good place to go. To the temple. All to be to the temple. All right. And, and this way you are all in the temple uh, at the 3 o'clock hour. Mm. But now notice, no, notice, the text says a certain man. Now, my first one is that. What was the condition? That, well, number, number one, number one, he was a broken man. All right, a broken man. He was a a broken a broken man. He, he, he was a, a broken man. He, now, 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 the text said because he, he was lame. He was lame from his mother's womb. Uh, right, right, right. But but now don't 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 don't, don't get it twisted. Now, all of us got a little brokenness in us. All right. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the son helps us out in Psalm 51 5. He, he, he said, I was, I was, I was conceived in I, I was conceived in iniquity. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I had iniquity in my life. I was born in, and, and, and my mother conceived me in sin. All right. All right. Uh, and, and so all of us came into this world. Huh. Broke. But yeah. the good news is, we don't have a steam Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he said, I was, I was shaken in, in iniquity. Yeah. And, and, and that Hebrew idiom literally suggests that, 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 that Hebrew word, in it, uh, 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 iniquity, literally means to be twisted. All right. Yeah, yeah. It, it carried the idea, not only to be twisted, it means to be crooked. All right. It, it carried the idea, it means to be bent. All right. Yeah. And how many lives 
are tuning in this morning that are twisted, that are that are bent, that are crooked, and, and yet in spite of all that, yeah, yeah. God meets us at the moment yeah, yeah. with new mercy every yeah, yeah. every moment. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's something that we ought to be able to shout about. That, that in spite of my twisted mind, in yeah. spite of my twisted mind, in spite of my broken promise, in spite of my bent way, God. Every moment with not left over, but with new mercy. All right, yeah. Every day. Every yeah. morning. Well, yeah. I gotta rush for my life. See what time to get back that way. That's, that's, so, so I gotta rush now. Now, now not only was he a broken man, but, but but can you look at the degree of his brokenness? All right. The degree of his brokenness, he had been like that since he came out of All right. his mother's womb. All right. Oh my God. He, 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 and, 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 and watch this now. The degree is he couldn't walk. He had never walked. Yeah, right. And yet, he's at the temple at 3 o'clock. All right. At the hour. All right. All right, all right. Okay, but not only the degree, but the duration is he, he, he was like that since he was born. Uh huh. Uh, and when he came out of his mother's womb, uh, he was like that. But again, not, not only the degree and the duration, but look at the meaning of the program. All right. Yeah. It, some, somebody had to bring him yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and lay him at the gate uh, to beg uh, a woman. Yeah. All right. that, that, that's the meaning when you can't do anything for yourself. For yourself. Oh. And, and the text says, it didn't say a certain law. Man. It's a certain man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then all of us that are that that, that have uh, that are men and, and our masculinity is challenged. You don't bother us. Yeah. yeah. When we can't do nothing. Woo. Nothing, God. Nothing. Not, not only for the family, not, yeah. not, not, not only for the community, not only for the country, not, not, not only for the, for the dimension. I, I can't do nothing for my yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. But not only, I, 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 not only was he, not, not only was he a, a broken man. Yeah, yeah. The text said he was a begging man. All right. Yeah. The text said he was a begging man. A begging. Yeah. A begging man. So, so he, he, you know, he, he did the only thing he could do. All right. With what God had given him uh -huh. to you. Yeah. And that was to be. Yeah. Uh, he had to, to put up with the pain of being hungry and, 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 and all that in order uh, to get something uh, to take care of his need, his hunger. And, 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 and this text suggests that it doesn't suggest it says he was there uh, begging at the three o'clock, at the three o'clock hour. Now, 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 let me just throw this in to you. That's for free. You don't go with it. Oh, none of that. Uh, just, just, just always said that, 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 that there are some professional beggars. Professional. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Professional beggar. Uh, uh, zero in on those who are coming his way. All right. Yeah. And 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 and, and, and while they are coming, he'll see size in them up. Uh -huh. uh, as to who will give and who will not give. All right. He, he, he doesn't right. waste his time with those he don't feel that they're gonna give it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And so while one is coming, he's looking and waiting on the next one behind him to, to check him out, to serve him. Some people are professionals at what they do. All right. This, this beggar here, but now watch this because not only was he a begging man, but Peter and John, watch this, they make a plea to him. They, they, they make a, a plea to him. And, and, and the reason they make a plea is because they had a, they had a plea. All right. They, 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 they make a and pleaded him uh, 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 to, to do something different than what you've been doing. And then not only they make a plan, and a plan but, they, but they, they, they introduced him to the power of Jesus. Christ. All right. Okay. Now watch the text. Watch the text. The, the, the text says he was sitting there. <laughs> he, was, he was sitting there, and the text said he asked a woman. Uh -huh. Now watch this word. 
has to regret Eric Tyler. Now, Eric Tyler, watch this. Eric Tyler carried the idea of us to get treated. Eric Tyler carried the idea of one who prayed. Eric Tyler carried the idea of one who did. Eric Tyler carried the idea of one who makes a request. All right. Now, watch this because Luke puts this ASK in the court of the universe. Yeah. You see, in, in, in court, it denotes uh, the start of an action. All right. And, and it puts it in an imperfect tense, which picks up uh, an action in the past time that has a continuing result. It's that this man has been begging ever since he came into this world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's right here. It's, it, it's right here. And, and then it's active for him. Nobody begged for him. He had to do it for him. Yeah. Himself. Yeah. And, 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 and so, watch this. I got to rush it. I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. Now, watch this. Not only was he a broken man, not only was he a big man. A big man. Watch the text. Watch the text. He, he, he was a, he, he was a, a, a blissful man. All right. Now, watch the text. Watch the text. Uh, see, see, and Peter and John about right. to go into the temple, verse 3. Yeah. Uh, uh, and they, they had a plan. They, 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 had, they had a complete plan. Uh, and the power, watch this. He watched him go in, and this is not the first time he watched him go in. He, he had watched him, you know, he, a, a, a professional bird beggar, notices everybody and keeps a record. All right. Of who gives and who don't have. Yeah. You know, yeah, that church is the only one that does that. Ah, ah, ah. And the finances have been the only one. Professional badness. Yeah. Keeps a record. All right. Of who gives and who don't. All right. So they don't have to waste that. Time. Waste that time. Uh, we, we, we put food in with folks who who are not going to give yeah. Yeah. All right. anything. But when you but when you look at at how, how this how this how this passage is flowing, it's 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 in a sequential segment that says the sacred scripture, which is right. the lot of the flow of the text. Uh -huh. The text says, Peter and John go to the temple. Our prayer, man is there in the need of prayer. At the beautiful day, there's an ugly situation. <laughs> oh, all right. Wow. All right. It's always ugly when the church is beautiful and you rent a community that's ugly. <laughs> folk are hungry, folk are in need, folk are on drugs, and, 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 and there's always a need for the church yeah. to come out of the beautiful surroundings, the beautiful sanctuary, and minister to the ugly situation. Yeah. Jesus. Now, now, now watch 
question. Not, not only that. And I got, I got to close. I got to jump off here. There's so much I'm going to say that. <laughs> but, but not only that. Not, not only uh, is he a blissful man, happy uh, and cheerful because the, the Bible says he, he uh, leaped up. Yeah. Uh, started walking and praising. Yeah. Praising God. But, but not only was uh, he a broken man. Not only uh, was he a begging man. Not only uh, was he a blissful man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but can I close uh, by telling you uh, he was a broadcasting man. All right. uh, yeah, yeah. Broadcast. All right. To broadcast, to suggest, uh, to put something over the airways, I mean, right. yeah. uh, to widen it, make it known, make it known. Uh, to those who are out there. Yeah. Yeah. You see, when you, when you think about broadcasting, that's, that's what we're in the middle of doing right now. Right now, yeah. 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 Putting it out there. We are simply broadcasting. Broadcast. Yeah. For those who cannot come. Uh, he, he, he the battles and uh, he, he had the new pilgrim rest. We, we're simply through through the internet of live streaming. We're just broadcasting. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, this man did not uh, have uh, the, uh, the, the ability to, to access the internet. All right. He did not have uh, the ability to access the radio and, and television. Uh -huh. And so he did uh, the best thing uh, he could. Because uh, he started a broadcast. Yeah. Weeping and praising God, he started broadcast. Yeah. And I just want to tell you, God has done anything for you. Uh, if you've been broken, if you've been beaten, if you've been down, if you've been uh, to the almost level to the ground, and, and the Lord uh, picks you up, uh, you are a broadcast. Yeah. So many times we broadcast the wrong stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We are a broadcast. The Lord has been to us. Uh -huh. We are a broadcast who are down and out, uh, and the Lord picked us up and turned uh, us around. Yeah. We are a broadcast. He's good in the morning, uh, good in the evening, uh, good in the midnight hour. Uh, yeah. all, we always something uh, that you can broadcast. Uh, God has done so much for us uh, that we ought to be professional broadcasters. Uh, you don't need a radio program. Program. You don't even need to the internet. You want to just walk and talk and pray the Lord and tell the folk how good the Lord has been to you. Yeah, yeah. And so when you're broadcasting, there will always be somebody to pick up what you're broadcasting. And I know what it is. They keep it up in verse 10. The people that was there said, Isn't this the one that laid at the gate? Jesus, yeah, yeah. over 42 years, the man couldn't walk.
Will you kill me? Yeah. Uh -huh. That was to me before the broadcast. Yeah. We're the broadcast. Some, some of you were, were abusers. You've been abused. Mm -hmm. But God brought you out. Yeah. I, I just believe his word. What broadcast? Is it yeah. what you Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, the doctors have walked into the room. Wow. And you started tripping. But he yeah. came in with the diagnosis ah. of the illness. And you realize that, that you're going to be all right. I just think that's what we're about. Yeah, yeah. And God has done everything for you. It's worth broadcast. <laughs> Is it worth broadcast? All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth
give all that God has blessed you. Give him his tithes. Uh, amen. And his offerings. Whether it be through impact, don't forget impact, impact. Come in the prayer. Yeah, yeah.